Hello, my name is Cheryl Cattell, and welcome to today's LinkedIn Minute. I'm so glad you joined. Today, we're going to look at the Social Selling Index. If you Google the Social Selling Index, LinkedIn, you'll be brought to this page. If you're signed in and click Get Your Score Free, it will bring you to your Social Selling Index. Don't be tempted to click Learn More. I want to show you, though, a shortcut of how you can get there. If you use this URL, bit.ly forward slash Cattell SSI, pay attention to the capitalizations. It counts. It does change the URL resulting. So please, capital C, capital SSI. This will bring you directly to your score. You won't get lost and click the learn more by accident. What's interesting about this score is it's a good indicator if you're on an unpaid membership of how well you're doing in maximizing your presence on LinkedIn. These little question marks will give you more insight on how you can get each one of your scores to increase. Why is the Social Selling Index important? Well, let me show you or share with you some research that was recently finished on the annual LinkedIn Algorithm Report. This was just published in October of 2021, and it's called Just Connecting 2021. What this report found is that based on your social selling index score, your reach will actually be more or less than the baseline. They consider a baseline SSI of 45 to 59. Anything less than that looks or appears as though LinkedIn will restrict your post by 10% less than the baseline. Going in the other direction, 60 to 74, 10% more, 75 to 90, 20% more, and anything over 90 is getting around 30% more reach for all content posts. Well, this certainly makes a case for paying attention to your SSI and using it as a way to gauge how well your content will be reaching your desired audience. All right, well, that's it for today's LinkedIn Minute. Thanks for stopping by.